Hi and welcome back to Step by Step GuitarTuition.com. This is the seventh lesson in the Step 3 module for improvers. In this lesson we're going to look at combining the walking bass lines and the slurs that we looked at in the previous two lessons. If you haven't yet been through those two lessons, I'd recommend that you do so before you continue with this lesson. And as always, don't forget to refer to your lesson notes for more information. Let me give you an example of the finger start exercise that we're going to look at today. Okay, now let's take a look at that in more detail, starting with the G chord. Pluck the bottom string first, then the top three strings, the fourth string, then the top three, the bottom string, the top three, then open two hammer on on the A string. And that two note climb on the A string takes you up to the C chord. So the fifth string and then the top three, the fourth string, top three, fifth string, top three strings and then do a climb down, two, open. And then back to the G chord. Again start with the low E string, then the top three, the D string, top three, low E string, top three strings, and then play the second fret, third fret. And that runs up to the D chord. And on the D chord we're going to try two variations. The first one, starting with the open D string, and then the top three strings, the A string, the top three, and then we're going to run down this sequence of notes. Open D, fret three on the A, fret two on the A, open A. We'll do that again. Fourth fret, uh, sorry, fourth string open, top three strings, fifth string open, and then running down from the open D, fret two, and then open. And the second variation starts off the same, open D, top three strings, open A, top three strings, and this time we're going to do a hammer on, on the D string at the second fret, hammer on, then pluck it open, and then the same thing on the A string. So that starts off the same, open D, top three strings, open A, top three strings, pluck the open D, hammer on, then open, open A string, hammer on, And then that run takes you back down to the beginning. So let's try and put all that together. When we play the D chord for the first time, we'll play the first variation, and the second time we'll play the second variation. So slowly at first, and then we'll gradually build up the speed. Start on the G chord, then the hammer on to the C, then the climb down back to G, climb up to D. First time round, run down the scale, back to G, hammer on, two open climb down on the A string, back to G, climb up to D, and then this time the second ending, hammer on, hammer on, start again, hammer on to C, and then the run down, G, Climb up to A, 2, 3, D, scale, down to G, hammer on to C, 2, open, back to G, climb up to D, and then the hammers, hammer on, hammer on.
Okay, remember you need to practice that very slowly at first and then repeat the pattern consistently without making mistakes. And then try experimenting and make up your own variations using all the different chords and the different sequences that you've learned so far. We'll be adding to that as we progress through the step-by-step -step syllabus. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 8 where we'll look at naming the notes on the 4th string up to and including the 12th fret. So I hope to see you then.